So to continue on with our what's new for Mastercam 2019 blog videos, we're going to start looking at what's new in the lathe environment. And first up, we're going to look at the cross-center turning functionality. So I'm going to do a direct comparison between 2018 and 2019. And here I am in Mastercam 2018 to start off this video. So what I'm going to do is do the OD and ID of this part using the exact same boring bar tool. So the center line is the x-axis here. So on the bore, I'm going to machine up on this side. And then to do the OD, to use a boring bar, I have to come down to this side of the part and bore down here. So if you are to cut this on the machine with the same tool, when you're cutting on the ID, it will be a clockwise rotation. However, when we use that same tool to do the OD on the opposite side of center, the chuck would have to reverse in direction. Uh, so let's see uh, how this works straight out of the gate um, in 2018. So I'm just going to do a finish pass, like I said, on the ID, on the normal side for this tool. And I'm grabbing a boring bar, tool number 74. Make note of this graphic down here, the finish direction. It looks like how you would expect for this boring operation with this tool. Completed tool path looks just like you would expect. So again, there's our inserts. The material is coming up this direction against the cutting face. So everything is exactly as you would expect. So let's use the same tool to do another finishing operation, this time on the OD, on the opposite side of center. So same tool. Notice the graphic down here. We're definitely not doing an ID operation anymore. We're going to be doing some sort of an OD operation. So let's rebuild that. And we do get a good tool path. There's no collisions. However, when we go through a back plot, the first side looks good. Reposition for the OD cut. Cuts the outside. And then rapids through the part. Uh, so you might you know, guess at first maybe leaving this to an ID setting is the correct option. So let's rebuild that. And we're getting collision detections uh, all throughout the creation of this toolpath. So that in itself, I think most likely what's happening there is Mashcam is picking up the issue of the uh, spindle turning the wrong direction for that cutter. Uh, so let's go back to the other option where it's on the actual OD. And post both of these operations out and look at the G-code. Keeping in mind for this second tool path, it would have to flip directions uh, for the spindle. So there's our tool call and our spindle turn on in the clockwise direction. Rapids to just uh, above Z0, feeds to depth, retract movement back to the front of the part in this line. This takes us down to the opposite side of center with the X negative call. So we're below the center line. Back to zero, and then there's a cutting motion to our Z depth, and the chuck has not changed directions. So we're cutting it on the opposite side of center. The chuck needs to change directions. Let's look, let's look at the other option, which is leaving it in the ID mode. Look at our collision detections there. Post this out into G-code again and see if we get that uh, chuck changing directions this time. So there's our tool call, our MO3 on the clockwise direction, rapiding to um, just above the part. There's our feed to depth, the retract pull off back to the front of the part. There's our move here to the opposite side of the center line. Um, and again, our feed to depth with no change in chuck direction. So again, we're not getting that output of the chuck switching directions for the opposite side of the center line cut. So, you know, straightforward enough, we could just insert the call here and do an MO4, but most likely you're going to forget to do this. So in 2019, they've made the change. Let's look at this same part. I'm over in Mastercam 2019 now. You can see up top, Mastercam layout 2019. We're going to do the same thing. So let's do a finishing operation on the ID. I'm going to grab tool number 74. So same tool. Notice the graphic. Again, it looks exactly like you would expect. Let's hit OK. And we can pretty much be confident or fairly confident that this operation is going to be exactly as you would expect. Uh, 
make notes of the tool, uh, the 3D looking tool. We're going to go more into that in a future video. Uh, but yes, 3D tools are available in MASHCAM 2019. More to come on that in a future video. So let's do our finishing operation on the opposite side of center. Same tool. Notice the graphic now. Uh, this looks like what we actually want to accomplish here. We've chained on the opposite side of center, so the tool looks like it should both in the ID and OD orientations. When this is generated, no alarms occurred. When we back plot, cuts the ID, repositions, cut the OD, and it still is retracting from the material. It's not wrapping through like our last one did. And now when we go to post G-code, we should see the chuck changing direction when the tool crosses the center line of the part. So there's our tool 74 call, there's our MO3 clockwise, rapid to the beginning of the part, feeds to the end, retract motion off the part, chuck stops, chuck reverses directions with the MO4, there's our uh, CSS being called, constant surface speed being called, rapids back to the start of the part, repositions for the opposite side of center and there's our feeding motion to depth coming off the part and then back to the front of the part. So in 2019 with no extra work from the programmer you can cut on the normal side of center and the opposite side of center and MasterCam will update the chuck direction based on the side of center that you're cutting.